Water is continuing to pour over dikes in Minot, North Dakota tonight. The Souris River is rising steadily south of the border, but the big gush of water is still days away. CTV's Josh Crabb joins us now live from Minot. Yeah, Josh, I understand the city is expected to be hit with even more water than it was preparing uh, for just yesterday. Gord, they just can't seem to catch a break. This time, it's Lake Darling Dam upstream from Minot. Increased flows will mean the Surus River behind me, the crest on that river, will be even higher than first anticipated. So if people here didn't already de feel defeated, they do now. It's a neighborhood now swimming in the swollen Surus River. Homes are already being flooded, and there's more water on the way. Everybody in here is just pretty much on pins and needles, just waiting for everything to happen. If it wasn't bad enough, Minot has been dealt another blow. Even more water has been released from North Dakota's Lake Darling Dam. New projections show that could push the Surus River crest in Minot three feet higher than anticipated. You hate to admit it, defeat at any time, but. Um, as far as our permanent dike, it, it can't handle the kind of, kind of water that we're going to see. Flash flood warnings have been issued, and the city is recommending even more evacuations. 11,000 people have already been forced to leave low-lying areas of Minot, and hope is fading fast for those that thought their homes might be spared. I'm just dreading the idea of the cost it's going to be to get that dried out and to recover that. The National Guard and U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are focusing their efforts on protecting Minot's water treatment plant and other critical city infrastructure. Officials say there's nothing more they can do to save homes along the Surus River. And unfortunately, we we're, we're unable to prevent the water from riot, from flooding, so we're letting it letting it flood. The grim reality for people here is when all this water recedes, the homes they return to will have suffered severe damage from a river which isn't stopping for anything in its path. It's just a feeling of, of loss. People, I mean, people are going to be going through a process with this. Many Minot businesses have closed their doors because of the rising river and all the evacuations. Minot State University is closed and one of the main roads in Minot has been shut down to allow crews to work easier. That's to protect that road from flooding. It's one of the main north and south links in the city and if it floods, it would essentially put the city in two different halves. It would cut people off from one half of the city. So crews are working frantically to uh, fix that up and if the city wasn't already crippled. It is now. Just a not a good situation, Josh. Now, all this water is making its way into Minot from the Souris River Basin in Saskatchewan. Are officials in North Dakota upset with Canada over all of this water? Well, they're not happy about it, but they're not angry. They say they understand there's been record amounts of rainfall in southeastern Saskatchewan, and all that water has made its way from Saskatchewan down the Surus River Basin and into Minot, and they understand officials had no other choice but to let that water flow downstream. All right, thanks for this, Josh. CTV's Josh Crabb reporting tonight from Minot, North Dakota.